Hey everyone welcome back to the channel today I am going to show you how to install and use Flux Gym a super easy web interface for training Flux loaders. Even if you have low VRAM like 12 GB, what is Flux Gym? Flux Gym is a super simple web tool that help you train Flux LoRa's model on your computer even if you don't have high-end GPU. The best part, you don't need to use complicated terminal command. It all done through a user-friendly interface. All right now let's get into the installing. These are two way to install Flux Gym one-click installation or manual installation. So so one click installation you can click here and install so I go for manual installation. So first download Flux Gym from GitHub you can do this by opening your command terminal and copy paste this prompt. Add end. This will flux in your user folder so my user folder name is AI so it will install in my AI folder. After that you need to go into the flux gym folder by typing cd flux gym. Oh, sorry. Flux. Now you need to download the SD script. These are the training script that Flux used to run the command. We just need to copy paste. OV in taste. So now you might be wondering what is SD3 it is stand for Stable Diffusion 3 which is newer version of Stable Diffusion model used to generate images. By using the SD3 branch you get the latest most up to date training script next you will need to create a virtual environment to keep everything. Clean and organize so what we have to do first find where Python. So we have to create environment for Python 3.1.9 version so just copy this. And write minus dash mvenvenv. Done now activate the environment look a new folder is created now. Now we have activate our environment let's check the Python version make sure it will work in Python. Or 3.12 so once the. Environment is activated first you have to go to SD script so how we can do SD finals. Enter and we have to install all the libraries we need to run this program pip install our requirements. .txt
This will install all the library we need to run this program. Once this done go back to the main Flux Gym CD. In now same end. Same did he do install all the libraries. Now we need to install PyTorch we go to the website and copy the command and run this. So that is for the setup now we will download the models file so how can you do this first download clip. I will show you the location you have to save this file in Flux Gym Models clip folder. Same with the T5 double XL on T5 double XL and in clip. Now VAE you can download from here and save it in VAE and UNET you can download it from. and save it in unit. Once the whole step is done now how to run Flux Gym now open the folder where Flux Gym is installed now at top bar write CMD. And make sure first you have to activate environment env scripts. Activate now our environment is activated now run fluxum python app.py. You have seen the local URL now open it in your browser. And here is Flux Gym install now I will teach you how to create your own loader with the help of this tool. So now what you have to do first uh, I will name my LoRa models. And trigger name is Shikozi so I have 12 GB VRAM so I select 12 and you can add more name. What you want to trigger an image sampler every step so I will put here then and I will take. I will take 3 4 5 images of that girl and upload now what you have to do just add AI caption with Florence to it will take some time. After this, you have to click start training.
Now it's successfully created so. We have created the LORAS, where is it saved? It is saved as output here it is, Shakuzi so now what will we do? Now we will copy it and in our ConfiUI folder. We will add it to models and LORAS I have already done it in the name of my LORA and now we will test it. So what I have done is, I have opened my Comfy UI. So I have opened a simple workflow of Flux in Comfy UI in which I have added this LoRa which we had created named Sakuji. So here I have put a command, Sakuji a woman with long black hair and bags wearing a white dress against a blue background so let's check if this LoRa works. You can see that. The character we created, the girl we created, she started giving us the output of it. So now what I have done is intentionally focused Viking Shakuzi Warrior. With curly hair hurling a burning master right from her hand toward the viewer the glowing spear leaves the woman's body getting closer to the viewer leaving a trail of smoke and sparks. The intense battleground in snowy condition army banner swords and shield on the ground so now we will see what will be the output. Let's see how much output it has given us so with the help of this you can prepare some other prompts let's see some other prompts are evil frozen with. In the place of girls, Shakuzi. Realistic in our cyberpunk inspired dream and stunning Danish woman mature girl dark eye shadow makeup we short hair bang multicolor hair. Highlight hair between eye wearing Viking body armor holding torch on a dark dungeon perfect combination so now we will check this prompt what result it will give us. Look at the result now we will try something else. So now we try this some other prompt let's see what result we will get. Look at the output.